So can we say that things are getting crazier with Games Workshop, continuing this march to Warhammer Plus? And this was this was a link sent to me that I was exploring because at first I was like, I disbelieve. It's, it's kind of like when you're playing Dungeons and Dragons and you're in character, but you just have this out of character meta from playing the game and, and the DM crafts this amazing scene and right away you're like i just disbelieve it's an illusion it's obviously not real that of course is my continued thought with games workshop where okay i see what they did with the animators okay i see what they're doing with various fan content and youtube channels and patreon okay that's where they're gonna stop like they felt that's where they have to go square things up for Warhammer Plus, the launch, and and here's where we are. But it's like one thing after another. And, and I find it to the point where as much as I want to disbelieve it, it's true. So now I'm hearing, now I'm hearing that they are copywriting Warhammer. That if you have a channel with Warhammer in it, they're going to be coming after you. Now, my first thought was, we've been here and we've done that. Remember when they went after that author because she had Space Marine? in the title of her book, you can't copyright Space Marine. You can put a spin on it. You can come up with some other name to represent Space Marines. I mean, we all call it Space Marines, but there is another official designation. You could have that, you know, similar how they changed the name of Orcs and Eldar to other things. That That's absolutely, that can be a trademark, that can be a copyright. But last time I looked, Warhammer was a weapon. How do you copyright that? But apparently, apparently Warhammer with no space in between the words, th- this is what they're putting forth. And they've been shutting down some channels with this. And of course, the various online media and companies, they're just rolling with it. Apparently, if you have Warhammer with no space, that is enforceable by Games Workshop because that is a game. That is an IP. That is a property. It is War Space Hammer. That is the actual weapon. So if you have War Space Hammer, you are okay. But if you have War Hammer, you're potentially not. And looking, of course, well, yeah, War Hammer is War Hammer with no space. So I guess they're trying to really enforce that or go after that or do something with that. But things just continue to get more and more crazy as we go down this rabbit hole. And it just feels like it's making... 40k more and more toxic to play your thoughts on that now maybe this is a little bit overreacting and the community is is just looking for something everywhere but then again this is games workshop and just a short month ago short month and a half ago if you would have said fritz these things are going to start happening to your favorite game these things are going to start happening to the universe that you enjoy playing the 40k universe i'd be like Well, maybe 5%, because it is Games Workshop. I'm never going to say no, no matter how outlandish, because it is GW. But at the same time, looking and saying, there's no way that they're going to do that. There's no way it's going to go in that direction. But apparently, once again, here we are. 